Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice them for the first time and how old were you? Do you have any particularly nostalgic recollections of them? Let me know in the comments section below. Kathy O'Donnell was an American actress known for her roles in film and television during the 1940s and 1950s. She appeared in several classic films, including The Best Years of Our Lives and Ben-Hur. O'Donnell was a talented actress with a natural and understated style that endeared her to audiences. Delphi Lawrence was a British actress known for her work in film and television during the 1950s and 1960s. She appeared in several popular films, including The Man Who Could Cheat Death and The Scamp, and was also a regular performer on British television shows of the era. Lawrence was a talented and versatile actress who was respected by her peers and audiences alike. Dolores Del Rio was a Mexican actress known for her work in Hollywood during the 1920s and 1930s. She appeared in several popular films, including Flying Down to Rio and The Trail of 98, and was known for her beauty and grace on screen. Del Rio was also a trailblazer for Latina actresses in Hollywood and helped pave the way for future generations of ladies performers. Edna Dorr was an English actress known for her work on stage, television, and film. She appeared in several popular TV shows, including EastEnders and The Bill, and in the film Nil by Mouth, which earned her critical acclaim and a BAFTA nomination. Dorr was known for her raw and authentic performances, and her ability to capture the essence of working-class characters. Florence Lake was an American actress known for her work in film and television during the 1920s and 1930s. She appeared in over 180 films, including The Bank Dick and Miss Lulu Bet, and was often typecast in comedic roles. Lake was a versatile actress and popular figure in Hollywood during the early days of the film industry. Gary Bullock was an American actor known for his work in film, television, and theater. He appeared in over 40 movies and TV shows during his career, including The Shawshank Redemption and NYPD Blue. In addition to his acting work, Bullock was also an accomplished playwright and director. James Brown was an American actor known for his work in film and television during the 1950s and 1960s. He appeared in several popular films, including The Dirty Dozen and The Running Man, and TV shows such as The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin and Rawhide. Brown was also a decorated veteran, having served in the United States Army during World War II. Jeff Donnell was an American actress known for her work in film and television during the 1940s and 1950s. She appeared in several popular films, including The Glass Key and My Favorite Brunette, and TV shows such as The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show and General Electric Theater. Donnell was a talented actress with a natural and engaging screen presence. Jonathan Winters was an American actor and comedian known for his improvisational comedy and unique characters. He appeared in numerous films, TV shows, and comedy specials, including The Jonathan Winters Show and It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Winters was a pioneer in the world of comedy, and his work paved the way for many other comedians. Joseph Saravo was an American actor known for his roles in film, television, and on Broadway. He is best remembered for playing Johnny Soprano on the hit HBO series The Sopranos. Saravo also appeared in numerous other TV shows and films throughout his career. He passed away in 2021 after a battle with cancer. Saravo's legacy lives on through his memorable performances and contributions to the entertainment industry. Kent Taylor was an American actor known for his work in film and television during the 1940s and 1950s. 
He appeared in over 100 films, including Dangerous Passage and The Crawling Hand, and was a popular leading man of his time. Taylor was also a decorated veteran, having served in the United States Navy during World War II. Marilyn Chambers was an American actress and model known for her work in the adult film industry during the 1970s and 1980s. She made history as the star of the 1972 film Behind the Green Door, which was one of the first pornographic films to receive mainstream attention. Chambers also appeared in several mainstream films, including Rabbit and Angel of Heat. Rodney Harvey was an American actor known for his work in film during the 1980s and 1990s. He received critical acclaim for his performance in the 1988 film My Own Private Idaho alongside River Phoenix. Harvey was known for his striking good looks and intense, emotional performances. Roscoe Lee Brown was an American actor and director who appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. He was known for his distinctive voice and eloquent delivery, which earned him critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Brown's notable achievements include his Emmy-nominated performance in the TV movie The Portrait of a Lady and his Tony-nominated role in the Broadway production of Two Trains Running. Ted DeCorgia was an American actor best known for his villainous roles in film and television during the 1940s and 1950s. He appeared in over 100 movies and TV shows, including The Killing and The Naked City. DeCorgia's deep, commanding voice and imposing presence made him a memorable and intimidating screen presence.